Styles come and go, but quality, well, it never goes out of fashion. Alf Sharp knows a thing or two about that. You see, for decades, he's designed and built furniture of changing styles, but consistent quality. Rob Wiles paid a visit to Alf at his workshop in Woodbury. Well, we're out in the woods, appropriately, outside the town of Woodbury, and the place we're looking for is a little hard to find, but that's okay, because for decades, people who are interested in high-quality, handmade wooden furniture have had no trouble finding this place. This is Alf Sharp's shop, and Alf Sharp knows a thing or two about furniture and wood. I had started out in law school at Vanderbilt and woke up in a cold sweat one morning and realized that was the last thing in the world I really wanted to do. And so, and so I just sort of bummed around for a couple of years and, and ended up on a carpentry crew uh, in just, in, just in order to make some money. And everything fell into place. I just understood immediately what they were asking me to do and could do it. Uh, and before long, I was doing the, the kitchen cabinets and the built-ins, the bookshelves, and that sort of thing. And then uh, that caused me to take another look at furniture. So that's made out of wood, too. How did they do that? <laughs> and so I just set out to learn to be a furniture maker. And that's what he became, taking commissions to create just about everything. I make beds and chests and tables and chairs and, mm -hmm. and mirrors and what have you, whatever the customer wants, mm -hmm. within a certain quality level. But with, within that understanding, I, I make every kind of furniture. All different, all the same in one regard, quality. It wants to be solid pieces of fine old wood. The workmanship wants to be first rate. The, the style wants to be significant. It wants to be a, an important piece of furniture to go in a home or a business. Alf's original designs are modern, but grounded in the past. When I come up with an original design, it, always, it, it almost always has a toehold in tradition. It's a reinterpretation of a traditional piece or a uh, original use of the piece of furniture is reimagined or uh, a particular style that I'm fond of, I'll make a piece of furniture that, that resembles that style. Alf's creations are seen and appreciated in private homes everywhere. But you can still see them when you come to places like this, which was a very famous private home. The wallpaper in the hallway is 183 years old. It was picked out by Rachel Jackson when they were building the house. Every year, a quarter million people come to visit the family home of President Andrew Jackson, the Hermitage. They'll see many things from Andrew Jackson's lifetime, but the rest, well... It's said that 90% that, uh, of the furniture in the Hermitage actually belonged to Jackson, and I've done the other 10%. Alf built everything from Venetian blinds, to the capitals on top of the front porch columns and a lot more. Marsha Mullins, the chief curator here at the Hermitage, says the recreations are important to give visitors a feel of what things were like when the Jackson family actually lived here. Most of the furniture in the Hermitage actually did belong to the Jacksons. And so we uh, made the decision because of all that authenticity to recreate pieces that were missing rather than try to find uh, antique similar pieces. It's the kind of work Alf truly enjoys. For the historic houses especially, you've, you're, you're trying to match exactly what the original owner of the house had. So there's a lot of research that goes into discovering what exactly the original owner had, how that was made, what it looked like. There's a lot of committee work goes on in, in mm -hmm. you're, you're working with a house restoration committee mm -hmm. and so you, you'll, you'll probably do a prototype or two before you do the actual piece of furniture for them. 
Um, but all of that stuff actually makes it fascinating. It does take a lot of skill because it, you know, it's a different form than what you're used to if you're making modern things. And he has a real sensitivity to it all. You might say Alf has a feel for all of his work. A properly sharpened tool slicing through a piece of wood is a sensual thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's very satisfying. And consequently, I use uh, a lot of original old hand tools. Uh, I mean, I do have power tools here in the shop, and I use them in certain cases, but I also use a lot of the original hand tools because they are so satisfying to use. And there's no noise and no dust when you're working with the old hand tools. It's very pleasant. By the time Alf begins to carve and cut, he has a deep knowledge of what he wants and how to get it. This is, this is a passion, so the passion remains. Still, Alf is semi-retired now and admits there's a strong urge to just relax. In the end, the passion wins. Passion for the work and his own standards. My goal has always been to, to have them be uh, more excited about what I've done than they were when they commissioned it. In other words, I want to surprise them with the quality and the appearance of the piece of furniture. Furniture made with skill and passion by Alf Sharp. Thank mm -hmm. you.